Welcome to Let's Watch. Today I am going to break down an American supernatural horror film called Countdown. Be ready for spoilers ahead. At a party, teenager Courtney is convinced by her friends to download Countdown, an app that seemingly predicts how long a user has left to live. Courtney is shocked that the app says she has only three hours to live. After avoiding getting into a car with her drunk boyfriend Evan, Courtney receives a notification stating that she has broken the user agreement. Returning home, she is attacked by an unseen entity and killed as her time reaches zero. At the same time, Evan crashes and a tree branch goes right through where Courtney would have sat. On the next scene, Quinn Harris is a nurse that works at the hospital where an injured Evan is admitted. She suffers frequent sexual harassment by her boss, Dr. Sullivan, but fears speaking out as she has only just passed her exam to be an RA. Quinn stumbles across Evan in a closed off wing of the hospital where he tells her about Courtney and his suspicious about the app. He also reveals that he downloaded it and it states that he will die at the time he is due to go into surgery. Quinn is dismissive of his claims but eventually downloads the app after her co-workers downloaded it. She is horrified to learn that it says she has only 3 days left. Evan later skips his surgery and is informed that he has violated the user agreement of the app. He is confronted by a demonic version of Courtney and killed. Quinn visits her home to pick up an important document and encounters her younger sister Jordan who has a strained relationship with her following their mother's death. The next day Quinn learns of Evan's death and procures his phone. She cancels a plan to go out with Jordan and their father before being informed that she has broken the user agreement. She is then harassed yet again by Solomon before fleeing. Quinn researches about the app, learning of Courtney's death and that similar things have happened to other app users, although they are widely regarded as fake. She is horrified by a vision of a dead Evan and flees her apartment. She is found the next day by Jordan and Jordan learns about the app which states Quinn only has one day left. Increasingly panicked, Quinn buys a new phone but discovers the countdown app has installed itself on the new phone. After being attacked by a demonic figure, she encounters Matt, whose countdown app states he will die a few hours before Quinn. The pair head to the hospital to get help from the hospital's priest, only for Quinn to learn that Sullivan has tricked the staff into thinking that she sexually harassed him and as a result, Quinn is suspended. Matt is attacked by the entity taking the form of his younger brother who died of an illness years ago. The pair leave the hospital and begin to suspect that something in the user agreement may help them. It states the agreement is broken if the user tries to change their fate and they realize that they have concealed plans. They consult a priest called Father John who states that the app's code may help them. They hack into the code with the help of a phone salesman named Derek and learn that Jordan has downloaded the app and due to this will die shortly before Quinn. They hack the app to add more years to their lifespan but Quinn is attacked by the demon later that night and the countdowns revert back to normal. After Jordan is attacked by the demon who takes the form of her mother, the trio consult Father John who identifies the demon name Ozin and curse via the app code before theorizing if they beat the countdown timer by one second, they'll win. They prepare a warding circle to protect them from the Ozin attacks, but Matt is lured out by the Ozins taking the form of his brother. Matt ends up getting hit by a car and killed as his last breath expires when the app set. Jordan is also injured in the attack and Quinn takes her to the hospital where she learns that Sullivan also harasses other female staff members. Realizing that she could kill Sullivan and take the 57 years his countdown app predicted for him. Quinn lures him into the closed off wing and attacks him but he is saved by the Ozin who realizes that she is doing. Ozin hunts down Jordan as Quinn searches for Sullivan who escapes after Quinn is injured. The Ozin prepares to kill Jordan as her time runs out, but Quinn overdoses on drugs, sacrificing herself to destroying the Ozin. Jordan notices that Quinn has written something on her arm, where she drew herself a circle and the word Narcan. Jordan revives her by a strange with Naxolon and the duo succeeded as the countdown timer for them both stop. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified for new updates.